Hi all, thought I'd do yet another one of my shoot off videos. Today it's between PCP, Gamo, Gamo Coyote PCP, Revival Art 99 brake barrel spring gun and the SMK XS38 underlever 22. So I've got I've got targets up on my box, 46 feet, 16 yards, almost 16 yards away. And uh, I thought I'd give it a bash. I'll show you uh, the gun's been garnished with uh, some bipods that came earlier from Amazon. So I fitted those to it and I thought, oh, I ain't shot my gun with bipods. I'll see how accurate I am because I normally got it on a, a soft, spongy bag. So um, I'll, f I'll speed everything up. I'm going to shoot five pellets in each, so 15 shots and all, and it will be speeded up um, seven times so you won't have to sit there for hours. I'm trying to make my video shorter and hopefully. A little bit more interesting. I'll show you a quick close up of these bipods and then uh, we'll crack on. There's the bipods. Uh, they look to be quite well constructed for the for the for the money they cost, they're quite good value for money. 15 quid. Ordered them last night about 9 9 pm, 9 pm ish, and they got delivered about half eleven today. Uh, AM. Not bad. Amazon Prime. So she's all ready to go, all fired up. It will need charging up with the compressor soon. It's uh, I've never charged it yet. I only got the gun yesterday. I had a few shots with it before I left the gun range. I did fill it up there, and um, yeah, I hope there'll be enough there for five shots. And there you go. Fifteen quid. Spring-loaded ones, retractable. Press the lever, and then it goes up by another few inches. Piece of cake to fit using the stud mount. What was already on the gun. I should think most people know how to fit these, so unless somebody requests seeing how you fit them, I, I will I would make willingly the video for somebody. There's my target, slightly up, slightly obscured again by the washing line. I'll have to try and move that. So I'll do the PCP first, and I'll do the Virat, and I'll spin the box round, and there's one on the back for the SMK. Um, on the back of that box, there's a it's it's solid packed with cardboard. And should a pellet penetrate that, there's a two inch thick block of wood behind that. So, um, yeah, there's not any chance really shooting through there unless I did a really bad shot. And I can't see that happening. I'm not claiming to be uh, some sniper king. But to miss that box, you'd have to be, well, packing shooting, I think. Normal scenario, shooting from in, inside the man cave. Right, let's get ahead. I'm going to speed the rest of the footage up and then we'll do a final conclusion at the end. Right, well, put a fresh target up. Let's try again. I'll zoom in. That's it. Right, five shots. Gamo Coyote. All ready for action and all loaded up. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, straight through the same hole. Right, now it's the time of the Virarc. I might not be so accurate with that because I haven't shot that gun for about six, seven days now. Now it's the turn of the Virarc, so I'll try and point the camera down. That's it. Right, I haven't shot this little beauty for a while, Mr. Virarc, and I've just discovered I can't. I can't get my gun in, in its gun bag with those bipods on. <laughs> Let's try and get a bigger gun bag. Right. First shot, bottom target, and it's raining. Blimey, that's gone high. Number two. It's looking to me like these sights need adjusting, I would say. Number three. Number four. Last one. Number five. There you go, five shots from left to right. Bit of a shame that. I'll go more for the grouping than the actual uh, 
you know the actual bullseye because really I should have adjusted the, the sights on the gun but never mind right this is the SMK XS38 I think we know where this one's going to go oh that's so easy to uh, to cut compared to that Virac that little 177's got a bit of a pull on it well, the first pallet first shot don't expect any of these to hit the bullseye if I'm totally honest here we go Blimey. <laughs> one that one in easy this is number two coming up even higher Crikey. yes there was a big elephant standing there and he was a big game hunter you might hit it but a rabbit I think he'd be sitting there laughing at you this is the third one It stayed cons sort of consistent on the red ring from what I can see through my sights. I think this is the fourth one. You might have thought you'd get a lucky shot. Where did that one go? I can't tell. I think it went next to the other high one that I started with, I think. Oh, this one's number five then. It's got to be number five. Last well, shot. Mm. There you have it. All aimed at the bull. I'll bring them in and we'll get a we'll get a conclusion. Right, I was that displeased with the the last target I did. I thought I've got to give it its fair dues. The SMK XS38. I'll try a different pallet. I'll do it all over again on that target with the GSB exact, which are quite hard to push into the barrel. But got to be fair to the gun. It doesn't like those uh, those other pallets. Oops. <coughs> So here goes, five of the GSB's finest, that one went in quite easy. Right. Here we go, first shot. Oh, I think that went to the left, I'm looking through slightly blurred sights. Second one, second shot coming up. Oh blimey, miles away that one, I don't think that was me. Where's the third one? I think that was a bit closer, I'm not sure, I can't see very well until I watch the video back. Here's the fourth one. I can't tell, I think that's gone to the next to the last one, I think. Here's the last shot. But it's still fun to shoot. Oh, here's the last shot. No, it's grouping, it is grouping to the left, but there's a little bit of grouping. It's definitely better than the last. Uh, shot of five shots I did with those other pellets. These are the JSB Jumbo Heavy Diablos 18.13 grains. So well let's summarize. I thought I'd throw a joker in at the end with this video because this uh, Webley gas ram gun is sat being unloved in the cupboard. It wasn't even in a, a gun bag. So the wife's been out and bought me a few few bits and bobs today and a gun bag was one of them. So it's got open sights. I probably, mm, I don't know if I could see the ball from this distance to be fair, but I'll, I'll give my best shot. As long as I don't hit the fence and I hit the box, I'm not really bothered. Um, it's got the day glow open sights. They're not that easy for me to look down. I'll try and, I'll try and give you the bird's eye view if I can. I don't know. Something like that. Is a perfect shot but of course it obscures your target so i'm gonna have five shots with this like i say hopefully i'm gonna hit the box with all of them but it's just a grouping i'm looking for and this gun if you've seen any of my other videos has got a terrible trigger totally unpredictable you just don't know it's not not got two stages it's just one pull one pull and it goes off randomly so i thought i'd throw this joker in the pack um, it's a shame really because if it wasn't for that trigger I think it would be a fairly accurate gun. It would probably be better than the SMK I've got. Shame. Brings back memories Webley of when I was a kid. Uh, a long long time ago. That's when Web Webley was British not Turkish owned. But we'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. It's not good. I can see the box with my naked eye from here. Obviously I can sort of see the centre of the target because it's dark. But... <sighs> Right, 
RWS Diablo pellets. I don't know if these are, these are suited to the barrel on this because I never shoot this gun. Right, safety off, open sights. See what happens. I think we hit the box. I think I can see. Uh, I think I can see a hole in the seven seven o'clock position on the clock face. Well, that's number one. This is number two. Try again. Aim at the ball. This is number three. Totally obscures the uh, the sights. The sights totally obscure the target, should I say. This one's number four. Open sight. This one's number five. Last shot coming up. Oh, that's it, it's five shot. But we ain't got any group in there amongst that, have we? They're in the sort of same area, but yeah. Okay, thought I'd throw that one in just for a change. Let's summarise. So to summarise, the Webley open sights, they all sort of did a massive group, but when I looked down the gun, the end glowing sight was actually bigger than the target I could see. The Gamo, let's get on the right one with the camera, that's uh, five pellets, obviously, well, I haven't got a 5p, I've got a dingy old penny I've just found on the floor, and the penny is bigger than the bull's eye. Obviously it covers that piece of cake, but we knew that anyway. The Virarch, that's probably me from it going left to right. There's no, no other explanation other than it was me what made it do that. Still still good, I wasn't going to adjust the sights. That's obviously the last time I used a gun. Um, probably down the shooting range, maybe I adjusted the sights, I don't know. But I thought rather than do one there high and then readjust, keep readjusting the sights till I hit the ball. I would leave it as it was and see how the grouping was, but it still fits under a penny, piece of cake. There's no edges poking out, 46 feet, almost 16 yards. And surprisingly, it looked, it looked worse to me through the sights because they slightly blurred the sights are in my eyes. Now, that don't look very clever, does it really? You've got three... You've got three there, two there and one there, but that's better than yesterday's attempt I did. This will actually fit under a penny, almost, as there is a tiny edge at the side creeping out. But at least it's grouping with those JSB pellets. It is grouping, starting to group with five shots. So, yeah, that's an improvement over yesterday's. I think yesterday's... There you go, there's yesterday's, look, same distance, different pellets. Now that looks like a shotgun's at that target. You wouldn't get a, you might get a penny over those there, but you've got two outsiders there and you've got three outsiders at the top. So, yeah, didn't like those Webley Acupel pellets and it doesn't like the ones I got with the Spitfire ones I got with the gun. The JSBs, although they're tight to get in the barrel, it is grouping. Not brilliant compared to the PCP or the, or the Virarch, but certainly five shots, and well, very close to, well, it probably is under a penny actually, because these, these tear when you're shooting into them, so there is, I think there's three shots there. Uh, no, there's not, there must be two. There's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So there's two shots there, and then the other three here, but they do fit, as, as you've just seen, under a penny. So there's your Virarch. There's your Coyote, which was to be expected, and I did expect that from the Virarch, but, but that little slither across there is down to me, but obviously it flies under a penny, and it flies under a five pence as well if I had one handy. The Webley, at least it sort of made a, a big circle of groups. Not, that's not impressive at all, but like I said, the sights were actually bigger than, than this piece with the naked eye. So, thanks all. I'll try and fast forward wherever I can to save time, to save you, you agonising, you know, getting a tow rope to try and hang yourself with boredom. But um, thanks for watching, take care all, till next time, thumbs up, um, leave any comments I'll try and answer. Thank you, take care.